Thank you, Mr. President. I am proud to introduce this piece of legisla legislation today uh, in collaboration with members of the HHS committee. Uh, because over the last year, I've been serving on the Interagency Commission on Homelessness, and those members, uh, individuals, and organizations, nonprofits, have been working very diligently to update our regulations regarding how we provide support services for individuals who are experiencing homelessness, making sure that it is rare, brief, and non recurring. And I want to thank my predecessors on the council uh, and in county government, particularly previous executive Ike Leggett and former council member George Leventhal for the incredible work that they and colleagues who are still here on the day has put into this effort. Um, it is their foundation that has set us up to be a, a leader in the entire nation with regard to how we handle our more, most Unfor most uh, unfortunate and those who, who need our support. And so what this legislation essentially does is build upon those efforts. You know, we've already reached functional zero with regard to our veteran homelessness and we are nearing functional zero with regard to our chronic homelessness. So what this legislation does is it expands the scope so that we include families which are primarily single mothers with children and also expands it into seniors and we would be if this moves forward the only jurisdiction in the entire country that provides specific support services for seniors who are experiencing homelessness and so we know that homelessness knows no borders especially being so close to Washington DC in the DC region there are people who will uh, travel throughout our region seeking services that they know exist. Um, and that is why we in the DC region have started coming together, working on this particular effort. Just uh, last Friday, I was in the District of Columbia, not yet Douglas Commonwealth, but the District of Columbia uh, with members of the Council of Governments Health and Human Services Committee, uh, subcommittee, looking at a new facility that they just opened in southwest Washington, mere blocks from the nation's capital. And so we know that this is a problem mere sh in the shadows of the nation's capital, and that's why the D.C. region has come together. And so, again, what this piece of legislation does is build on the incredible work that we've done here in Montgomery County and update it so that we can uh, receive more support from, from HUD, from our federal partners and from other, other stakeholders as well to keep doing the important work that needs to be done. And, and last thing I'll, I'll note, and it's an open invitation, um, clear to my colleagues and, and for, for whomever is paying attention to this conversation, that on March 13th, uh, the COG Health and Human Services Subcommittee will be coming to the uh, Montgomery County Coalition for the Homeless's Seneca Heights facility. And so um, I'll be leading the tour of that important facility for our regional colleagues, regional leaders to come and, and an open invitation for everybody to come see the important work that we're doing here in Montgomery County and to learn best practices. But again, we are a national leader in this effort and this updated legislation, this legislation to update that work will, will be even more meaningful to the people that we're serving here in Montgomery County. Thank you.